Hello, my name is Christopher Bell. I'm going to be talking about anchored comment cards. By anchoring, we mean a comment is associated with the following keyword, which means that Primer remembers where it is in the input deck and that position doesn't get lost when the model is written out again. I'm also going to be talking about what we refer to as multiple anchoring, which is new in Primer version 19. And finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the further uses to which comments can be put. Here is a very simple example of the default case. Primer remembers that the star comment is associated with the following keyword. In this example, that's node 4. Unlike LS Dyna, which ignores everything between star comment and the keyword, Primer remembers it, and this information can be both edited and viewed interactively. And when the file is written out, it will be written out back in this position, anchoring it in the deck. But I must stress, by default, it is only anchored to the single following keyword. Now we come to multiple anchoring, which is a new option in Primer 19, not the default. If it's turned on, then a comment is not just associated with the single following keyword, so in this example that would be node 10, but it's associated with the blocker keywords from that keyword header up to the next one. So in this example that's nodes 10, 12 and 14. They don't have to be in any particular order, and what this means is that a comment can identify a subset of the structure and can be associated with that and that association is remembered. When the deck's written out it will again be written out in this order. The current anchoring mode needs to be set before you read in an input deck because obviously reading it is how we actually find the associations. So to do that in the model read panel you click on options then you choose processing or comment cards and then you would choose your anchoring mode. The default as shown here is single, but if you choose multiple, then that setting will be remembered for all subsequent files that are read in this session. If you want to make it a permanent setting, which you might well do, if you save this to an OAPREF file, then the permanent setting will become whatever you set here. To primer, star comment is just another keyword like node, load, anything else. It can be edited and created in exactly the same way, and this example shows an editing panel. Peculiar to the comment editing panel, you can change the items it's associated with. Here that's 22 shells, but you could change the shells. You could also change it to be associated with something completely different, perhaps parts or nodes or something. What you can't do is associate it with a range of things of different types. That would obviously be impossible because it can't exist in more than one place in the deck when written out. You can also detach a comment to make it freestanding. If you do that, it has no particular location in the deck and it will written out just before star end. Star comment can be associated with any keyword type and Primer supports that. Its great advantage is that it allows extra, what we would call metadata, to be associated with items in an input deck and this association and the information is not lost when decks are transferred around in LS Dyna format. A typical use is to associate extra data with a part or a block of nodes, but it can be used with any keyword. Comment is fully supported in Primer's JavaScript API as well, so a batch process using a script can access this, and that lets a workflow use the extra information to perform intelligent operations. Thanks for watching. That was just a brief summary. There's quite a lot more detail that hasn't been explained here. If you have a Primer user manual, then you'll find the full information about comment in section 5 under the header comment. Thank you.